What's up you lucky viewers, it's time for another long awaited star vs the forces of evil theory slash analysis since there are some things that I also wanted to say. <laughs> The first thing that needs to be addressed is of course the promo. It's pretty simple to analyze. It's about week three, so obviously this is about heinous, all belts are off, collateral damage, and just friends. This is gonna be awesome! Disney XD's been kicking down your doors with brand new episodes of Star. Whoa. And guess what you're gonna see next week? If it's those pictures of the dog playing the harmonica, I've seen them. Nope, it's not that. It's that there's even more new episodes of Star next week. Oh my gosh, don't try and stop me! It's all leading up to the massive of season finale you have to see to believe it's all just a big tease next week catch all new episodes of star vs. the forces of evil starting monday anywhere you watch disney xd oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. the first one is probably from just friends since we all know about star's previous interest in the band from the episode red belt this is probably from all belts are off entering his sensei's house this is collateral damage because star is seen at school and you can even notice the possum statue from outside this is all belts are off and of course all belts are off again Again. This is either heinous or just friends simply by observing Star's same blue outfit, but this one is most likely coming from heinous. I doubt they'll be wasting time outside behind a cactus instead of heading straight to the concert. Okay, I guess Marco was hiding from something. Maybe that's why we saw Star and Marco trying to sneak up on something before. So these clips where you see them walking around casually is probably heinous. Oh yeah, and that's Monday's episode. Once again, all belts are off and another one. Heinous because we see Star jumping like that before with a Narwhal blast at Hanus's assistant from the Starberry promo. They're getting ready for Operation Friends and I, I mean the concert so it's just friends anyways this is them getting ready for the concert because they look to be listening to music while brushing this is probably red belt because jeremy is maybe getting cheered on for something that he truly didn't even do i mean come on just look at marco's reaction this is from either collateral damage or heinous since fangirl 13 is at school collateral damage due to star's outfit just friends also one major easter egg is that the book of spells could possibly be right here it's not a guarantee but i'm certain judging by a size and numerous amount of page tabs and i can't go any further without giving a well-deserved mention for glossaric i doubt it's literally him but anyways he or she is from the star versus the forces of evil amino app and i would be remiss if i didn't give them a shout out of some sort who in fact never even asked for one so please don't be one of those people who beg me for one of those shout outs i don't exactly give them away for free still just friends again but as for this one marco isn't wearing the love sentence shirt and that's because if you were to look closely in this scene you can see that it was too tight for him for this one all right all right you got me pinned up against the corner for this one it could be almost any one of them i'll just make an educated guess and assume that this is from the episode heinous after star attacks the assistant with her narwhal blast so that must have startled them and this is possibly heinous as well with star and marco heading to the house and of course this is just friends well that is enough analyzing for this upcoming week's episode releases but i think i should go back to the book of spells discussion all right so remember this is the image used for the starberry promo and it hasn't been used yet so this most likely will not be the last time we see glossaric or possibly ludo and now that i think about it this fills in a question for the episode the hard way when exactly did the episode take place before raid the cave or afterwards coming from the looks of it this is someone looking through the all-seeing eye spell to check up on star while she was still after ludo the raid the cave episode must have transpired after the hard way in other words what in the heck is up with the timelines and which episode will star ever even care to get glossaric back according to the episode crystal clear she was disappointed in him and i don't really see her coming back for him anytime soon but hey that's what happens when you're a theorist am i right no, seriously, am I right? Welp, that's the end of this small overview for the future episodes to come. This has been the next week thing, and I hope to catch you Monday. Peace. And I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but I'm still down with the sickness. So, uh, yeah. Peace.